Welcome back to the show in Houston, man. It's going down YNC, myself and Corey, and my man Ricky in the background on the ones and twos. It's going down. Listen, 11 you matchup. Eric made it down from Washington, trying to get back on the national scene early in the season as they'll be going up against a very tough gold blooded Titans 11 and under. Hey, Ricky's in the background saying he's going with gold blooded. He thinks they're a tough, efficient team. He thinks they have more power, more firepower than the uh, Air Academy. So, you know, Coach Reggie Jones, who's played in the NFL, played for the Saints, kind of just has his persona uh, kind of bleed out to his kids, Corey. They try to take on his personality of tough football with a lot of tenacity. And you'll see that. His son, Dash, is one of the stars on the team, wide receiver. They'll try to get the ball to him often and early. But they'll be going up against a big, tall, rangy defensive back uh, from Gold Button Titans that they'll have to be very careful of how they place that ball against him. Uh, but Dash will come out to the opposite side of that defensive back I'm speaking of now, and he'll be in the slot. So, Corey, great matchup, 11 under here in Houston, man. Let's keep it rolling. Man, they come out, and trips formation to the left. It's a run from the beginning, but... He looked like he was about to be out to the race. Yes, he was. And <laughs> I'm going to say this, last year, uh, we did cover this, YNC San Antonio. So, Air doesn't have a problem with traveling. No. Eric doesn't have a problem with playing with top talent. Last year they played uh, SED Wolverines. And even though the tape, if you look at the tape, it, it, it was a one-sided battle. Eric was there and they stayed competitive the whole time. You never saw any type of bend. These guys are built for the national scenes. Now, will they take it to the national level? Of course, they, they play AYF. Will they you know, make that step or, let's say, the leap? Well, they did a the big dog. They've been they played YNT last year, so we oh. welcome them to the fold. Okay, they played there, uh, so you know they made that 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 jump. Uh, but now it's not just making a jump; it's to compete on the level. Now. Yes, now it's time to uh, make them numbers work for you. Absolutely, quarterback hands it off right at the middle. Oh, That's big the running back to the right, stiff arm, still on his feet, and you're gonna have some action right out of air off rip. Off rip, Ray and uh, Clay in here slapping asses, so we just gotta acclimate Clay to the, <laughs> the Clay, like we back in the football days, man. We out of pass, bro. Relax, Clay. <laughs> Could you see his number? Uh, yeah. So that was number eleven, coming out of there, just really putting pressure on Goldblood and tonight. And listen, even on that first play, Corey, I said, listen, this kid looks like he's ready to take off. This is a new addition yes. to this air team, and he's showing you something uh, offensively for air. Name is Marquise, man, and, and you didn't see this last year. I didn't see it last year. Big play there. They have some tall wide receivers too. Might might be some uh, mismatches on the outside with a wide receiver, but they go back to the run again. And he is trying to drag people. On first down, picks up every bit of five to six yards. Second is short. Uh, Air Academy is moving the ball at will. Spread formation. Quarterback calls his own number, hands it off to the right hand side. Has his feet moving. Not a lot of room there. Probably push push a power for maybe a yard or so. That's gonna bring up third and short. Now listen, they can get a first without scoring here, Corey. They can get a first all the way at the one yard line. So that's gonna bring up like third and two. So good field position right now for Air. They came out with a big strike on the first first carry of the game. But now Gold Button Titans defense kind of tightening up, clamping down. Hasn't given up much yardage since then. So Gold Button right now wants to say, hey, Ben, but don't break. Can they give the uh, uh, uh can they give Air a defensive stand right now? A goal line stand, two, two downs to kind of just stand up in the paint. Call it right now, Corey. Touchdown, or, or are they gonna stand in the paint right now? I here? think they're gonna pick up the first down. I would try the mismatch on the outside. Very tall wide receiver. They have the. Uh, well, why would you throw the ball with two yards to go? That's and my, you would throw it. And that's what he's going to do. Create mismatches. Oh. Man, listen, I'm old school, man. You, you, Give. Remember that game against uh, Seattle Seahawks? Yeah. 
gave away the Super Bowl. Yes, they did. Marshawn Lynch, she'll still saying to this day, he's probably watching his broadcast with Skittles. <laughs> Give me the ball. <laughs> Give me the ball. Well, he took the big running back out, so in my mind, it had to go to the Yeah, air. but this Once is the big running back came out. But now he, he's back in, two yards, fourth down. Give him the ball, pick up the first down, have four fresh plays to go. Okay, big back is not in the back. Actually, they have a different back in the backfield now. Still in the trips formation. Go bloody really is not. Oh, big dude. And that's the first down. That will be enough for That'll the first. That'll be enough for the first down. Let's see where they mark them. Let's see where the forward progress is, though. Oh, oh it, Cold is coming off like they got it. Yeah, like because they it, stopped them. Yeah. And they stopped them. Boy, that, that was very close to me. If, if I was a coach, I would be, I would be trying to uh, measure that. I wouldn't just turn it. So turn them on down. No measurement. Turn and, them on down. And that's that's huge. That's huge, Corey. That's defensive stand by Gold Button Titans as they're able to go four four plays in a row and they're able to stop them at the half yard line. That is a huge play for them. Now let's see what they can do offensively because as good as that was uh, defensively. Yeah, Ben, but don't fold type of defense. Right yeah, there. but now let's offense has to protect not getting the safety. They got to get out of the shadow of their own end zone. Yes, that is true. So they'll come out in tight formation. Quarterback's under center, wishbone formation. Hand oh. off to the left hand side. He's oh, he trying to get it outside, but that was that's costly. Oh, he cuts back across field and goes <laughs> out. Oh my god. The gosh. worst thing you can do. Oh my goodness. Get out of the end zone. He's trying to score on his first play. Yeah. So that that's gonna be, and that's what we talked about before the snap of this ball. Make sure you don't give up a safety. So with that that right there, it was kind of smart going for it on fourth down, being safe. Hit the hole, to, yeah. hit what they give you. Don't try to reverse it. You can never reverse field in an end zone. You gotta get stick that foot in the ground and get upfield. Big 11 U matchup right here. Texas versus Seattle. Kind of change. We're going Texas, Georgia, Texas, Georgia. Now Texas, Seattle. So that Washington kind of just throws a little vibe in there for you, yes, huh? Yes, yes, yes. And it's so funny we, we speak about the Seattle play with Marshall Lynch wanting to get the ball. Yeah. So this could turn the tides for them. I mean, it, it it's a big defensive uh, play for them and put points on the board. Remember, every aspect of the game you want to win on, special teams, defense, and offense. And he goes right down. Somebody's been coaching that kid. So with six minutes and 12 seconds in this first quarter, he scores two to zero. Air Academy over Gold Blood and Titans. This 11 and under action right here in Houston, YNC. comes back out in the trips formation. Trips left, single wire receiver to the right. Eleven U football action. You know anybody back in Washington or Seattle that are watching or looking for air? Go ahead, tag them in it, share the share the broadcast right here in uh Houston, Texas, hand off to the big back again. Oh, this time he was clocking. Big hit in the hole as the linebacker steps up and feel that fills the gap right there. He'll be decleated around the 32 yard line. Still a nice pickup, but he runs very tall. Like he, you know, he's a tall kid. He's running up high, you know, like an Eric Dickerson. So it's a different running style than we saw in the last broadcast where 21 and 22 was running behind his shoulder pads. Stayed pad level. You know, and try to finish the run. Different running back in now. Come out in a spread formation. We have a blitz look, and they are bringing the blitz, and they throw it up, 
Ball Wide up. receiver catches it. Oh, he gets up and try to run it in. It is not the NFL yet, son. You might be there one day. Big play by Big Air play. Academy as he climbs the, the, the ladder. A tall wide receiver, man. Tall wide receiver. And that's what I thought they would do. More of a fade route yeah. when they was in the end zone the last I mean the red zone the last time. If they go with the fade route, the size is what you're trying to shoot for. And that's what he went. The kid went up and caught it at his highest point. Uh the DB, good position, but you know, it's kinda hard to gotta have them uh not them pew pew, but you gotta have them springs. Gotta get up there with them. Now they look they uh we have a uh a corner switch, but it's a running play handed off to the right side. But they, they, they bobble him up. Nothing the there. Defensive end slows him down, and the linebacker comes up and cleans it, cleans up the play. You see wrong numbers. Oh, and somebody got it. My spotter. I need to know what numbers, spotter. Never mind, don't worry about it now. Next no, play. I got it. I got it. Next play. Like you say so after the big pass play, they go with a run, and now it's second and and long and goal. So you can't get it further down here. Back to the spread motion. While the snap handoff to the big back, and he makes it one miss. He makes two miss. Reaches forward. Touchdown, Eric Cat. Makes it look easy as they run right up the interior of that gold blooded defense. And this air offense is rolling. So they, they look pretty efficient going straight down the field. Mm -hmm. When they go inside to side, it kind of runs into the, the strength of gold blooded Titan. But now that gold blooded Titan, the, the score now should be 8 right. 8 0. And Air Academy is going for. The extra point. Three minutes, 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to the trips formation. They put a taller corner out there with uh, with the wide receiver. It's pass all the way. He makes a couple miss. He's running around. Did he throw ball? Absolutely. Not only throw, he completed the conversion is oh, good. Wow. As he was able to extend that play with his legs. Oh, wow. Made three defenders miss, stepped up in at the line of scrimmage and delivered a strike. As Air can do no wrong offensively right now. Scores 10-0, three minutes and 16 seconds in the first quarter. Now 10-0. to That costly safety really makes it a two-score game. Gold-blooded Titan has to respond right here. Ball is bobbled. Picked up by number zero. Going to the left. Cuts back. He has a lane. Makes one miss, but Air is there to bottle him up. He has some nice uh, moves there. I like number zero, small in size, but very efficient as he has good, great vision. Or oh, is that number eight? Uh, no, number zero on that carry. Number zero, very, very patient runner. I like him on special teams. So let's see if they get him involved offensively uh, for Gold Blood. Jonah, I don't get many numbers right, okay? But when I do, mm -hmm. I get it right. You drink a uh, little translations with him. <laughs> That was Kobe Stewart on the return. I have a roster here. I'm gonna to try to grab these numbers. I got spotters, one of them. And then also, 
Jonah has pretty good spectacles on. Or not. not yes, you. All right. We have a single wide receiver to the top side. Handoff. A lot of pursuit oh, wow. by air. Wow. It started all with the penetration early at the attack in the back scrimmage. Yes, sir. So that'll be going the opposite way for Go Butter. As you don't want to try to go east and west on this air team, as they're showing you that they have a lot of team speed this year, a lot of upgrades on this air team than you saw last year. So don't expect that you'll see the same performance that you used at Air Academy. He's done a lot of off-season recruiting, and you can tell it already against his Go Butter team. Now quarterback's passing it. Oh. Almost picked off. That's number five trying to go for the ball as well, but a good reception by the wide receiver. He comes up a little gimpy. Yeah, so last year, looking at air, you know, their pass defense was one of the things that they needed to and the running offense. And I think this year, you know, pass defensive wise and uh and their offense. They definitely addressed it. They absolutely definitely addressed it. Which is, is which is coaching, and we was talking about this earlier, but development too. So I think they zero in, spread out wide. What did they just do? Oh, draw play right up the middle. I've never. I, so outside of uh, Canadian football, I've never seen uh, a motion go backwards like that. So that must be a new wrinkle they're throwing in there. But good, good pickup. But it brings up fourth down and very long. Let's see what they have in here. Are they throwing? Are they going to punt the ball? Or are they going for it? Looks like they're going for it to me. Motion again. Quarterback's passing, and he pulls the ball down and running. But we got a lot of pursuit here. 17 with the big quarterback sack on the play as he tracked the quarterback down. Another big loss for Gold Budden as air defense is just not, uh, they're trying to keep up with the performance of the offense. And that's Noah Tarrant with the big quarterback sack. Big shout out to Noah as he just been a big, big play for his defense. And that defense comes up again. So they look, you know, like I said, you got to win it in every aspect and offensively and defensively, they definitely win it. If they come out right now and put a score up, that's going to really, really, really put a, put the gold blooded Titans in a bad situation. So here they went 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Let's see what, what gold blooded can do on defense. They go back to the ground. He makes one miss. He makes two miss, but he is tackled. Not much or any gained at all. And that there is the second quarter. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody watching. Uh, please like, share. Uh, if you know anybody playing for any team, shout your players out. Shout out your coaches if you want to. You know, we have very uh, prominent coaches that's out there. Al Black been, has been coaching for a long time, and we have, of course, the NFL. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that. You got uh, NFL X cornerback uh, for the Saint for the Saints coaching, Coach Jones. 
quarterback back to pass. He'll roll oh, out. Stiff oh. arms a player. Oh, There's gonna be a block in the back. Yeah, they call that right then and there. So the quarterback's just gonna run it out of bounds, knowing that that play was done already. Smart play by the quarterback for air. Well, he 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 showed that he can make people miss, and that's what the what he did at first. Made one miss, and uh, offensive lineman, you know, you're taught always to protect your quarterback. He did it. it as kind of costly protection of him because I don't know if the kid was actually gonna be that much into the play. He could have got to the outside and made a uh, made up some of the loss that they have. But that brings up second and very long. You don't. Even though you're ahead, you don't want to uh, give the defense or the other team any type of uh, advantage. The quarterback, number three, Corday Narlin. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but I tried. They come back out, trips left. As they go to formation here, we got a blitz coming. Check the protection, what happened, false start. And they're moving in the wrong direction. And the opposite of the right direction at all. You do not want to go south right now. It's gonna bring up second and 25 for air. With eight minutes and 56 seconds in the second quarter, they have a 10 to zero lead over Gold Blooded. Come out in the spread formation. Ball snap, handoff to the running back, hitting the backfield, and he doesn't get anything, but a flag is thrown, so it's holding. I didn't really see a face mask, so holding call. And this has been a penalty field drive for Air, as they are now, I want to say second and 35. So it's, he's going to decline it. Told to bring up third down. Getting, uh, go blood his coach didn't want to give him an extra down, so they declined it. Now they're getting it together here. Come back out in the spray formation. Third down, this has to be a passing down. So defense got to be looking for it. They come with a blitz, and the blitz gets to the quarterback. Ball's on the ground, and it's recovered by Gold Blooded. Oh wow! Oh no, ref calls him down. Wow. Ref calls him down. Brings up fourth down though. Wow. Still a big play. The oh no, he signaled that. He oh, signaled it. Did he just change it? He said down. Now he's pointing the opposite way. Let's get the clear call here. I see they're changing the box. So it must be gold blooded first and ten. All right. Well, I was seeing that he was signaling that the player was down, and he changed that. Big push by the defensive uh, tackle. They both was in the quarterback's lap once he got the ball and was ready to to do anything with it. Ball is snap, handoff number 11, if I'm not mistaken, comes around the, oh, he bounces back in. He's still on his feet. Good pickup on first down. That's number 41. Okay, good good, good thing I can, I can see the way I do. <laughs> number 41, let's see what, number 41, a mere four on the carry. Ball 
the snap. Hand off again. So they're trying to establish to see if the, if the team is going to adjust with the motion. So they're putting a play in motion, Corey, and trying him to get across the formation to see if the linebackers are going to go with him or not. And they're having some slight success with it, only being third and short. So they're moving the ball. You know, and so this Titans team want to kind of, I guess, establish themselves, get running uh, the running plays off tackles, and then look for a reverse coming out of those plays out of that Jets. Yeah, some pro some type of uh, misdirection, cross bug, something like that. And oh, good move, because he was in, he was caught in the backfield, stuck his foot in the ground, and got everything that they was gonna give him after that, and. Uh, air is being very aggressive. The, the linebackers are flying, but on that play, they was too aggressive, and he made them pay for it. So picks up first down. Now it's first and goal, right? Nope, right outside the 10. That's correct. And, Corey, you said it just then. They would come back with a misdirection. That's just what they did. They faked the jet sweep. Play came right around on, right on the misdirection. They did a, an amazing play by stopping on the dime and putting his foot in the ground and going up north upfield because he was tackled in the backfield yeah. if he did First and goal for Gold Blooded Titans. Quarterback tries to keep it. Oh my goodness. Big sack once again as this defense, when they lock on to a quarterback, it's a, a pretty much a done deal, Corey. Yeah, he was pretty much unblocked and he didn't lose containment right there to make the tackle. Second and goal. Very, very long there. What, 22 yard line? Ball snap, pass all the way. He lets it loose. Ball is out there. And we have some contact. Ref throws the flag, pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and that's, he got his eyes, Dash got his eyes caught looking in the backfield, lost track of the receiver. And just was looking at the quarterback and stopped the, the impeded the, the forward progress of the receiver trying to get to the ball. They'll call that every time. So that's a spot foul, right? Where do they put him at? Automatic should be automatic first down. Out of spot foul brings up first and ten. First what? That's a spot foul. Oh. Rick is talking on camera. So they can still get a first down here after the penalty. In the spread formation it comes a motion. And we have a flag. False start on the offense.
right first and 15 now have a motion quarterbacks keeping it gets to the outside he got some wheels on him good tackle by the corner impressive play gets all the way down to the around the six yard line core i like how Glowbot is kind of slow the game down now. They're just trying to attack and, and, and take what air is giving them. We're back. 11 you action here. We have three minutes, 35 seconds left in that first half. 10-0. Air Academy on top of Gold Blood Titans. But Gold Blood Titans is knocking at that door. They're in the, they're in the red zone. They can still pick up a first down. <clears throat> so and if they get on the board here, they make this a very, very competitive game. Ball was snapped, try to hand off, but he's bottled up in the backfield. Number five, first man on the scene. Sosa on the tackle. Sorry if I said that wrong, guys. Gets to the outside. Makes one miss. Touchdown. Gold blooded Titans. And we get the dance in the end zone, but that was a very, very important drive for Gold But as they were able to establish the run left and right. If you look at that drive, Corey, they were able to pick and choose their spots. And very impressive. Now listen, Air has to come back and adjust because Gold But Gold But is back in this game. Yes, they are. I mean the penalty, I think the penalty helped them a lot. Help uh, helped. Gold blooded a lot, put him in a uh, position to pick up a first down, and not only pick a first down, that he got a touchdown out of it. Let's see if they can uh, make this extra point. Quarterback throws a pass. Oh, he made two people miss and walks into the end zone. Dynamic play by the running back there to catch the ball and not only catch it, but make two people miss and get in the end zone. Yeah, go buddy with the momentum right now. Trails six to ten. But you gotta like what you're seeing from the court. Well that with that with that completion, it brings it to eight. So man, that still shows you how costly that in that getting the ball back at the one yard line, two yard line, and getting hit with that safety is very costly because it, it turned into ten points. Eight, uh, two points there, and then Air went down the field and scored. So that's two points off of, I mean, 10 points off of one uh, Aaron play. Because Air was going down the field and you stopped him. Defense stopped him cold heartedly on the two yard line, give the ball back to the offense, and they don't make it happen for him. Two minutes, 32 seconds left in the first half. Gold Bloody kicks the ball off. It's bobbled, picked up, cuts back across the field. Oh, he got an opening. But Gold Blood is, is there to make the tackle. Yeah, because he was about to turn on that turbo. He yeah, he looked like his jet was about to pew, pew. Exactly.
bottled up there and after a good pickup, but Gold Blooded Titans was there to make sure they snuffed that run out. Second down. We've yet to see them. Oh, is that a big back there? We have a big running back in in the backfield. Mini bus. Gold Blood is showing blitz. His hand off to the big back, and he has a hole. Want to know why? Because nobody wanted to step in front of that. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it earlier. We it see was it not again. We saw it all be that whole thing develop step by step. Yeah. You big got man got in the backfield, lined up. And they said, okay, who's going to make the first what we call Ole tackle? Yeah, and that was uh, that was a a, a bus-type run. Single backfield. I mean, single back in the backfield. It's just him, and it's like I'm going to – they're going to give him the ball. Let's see what they have. He's here. most likely going to get the ball again, and now they're going to key on him. Might send him up at the line of scrimmage just go around. But, no, this time quarterback looks back to pass. One oh, away he to throws the it. Receiver. Oh, it's a pick. <coughs> Coming back the other way. This can be very costly. He has a block in front of him, pushes the quarterback out the way. They'll try to force him back in and make him Oh, and he cuts back he in. He cuts back and he's going to score, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Pick six. And this, that was very costly. Not only is Gold Blooded back in this game, they've taken control of it. Ah. Yeah. Offensively and de defensively. And, and, and you would wonder why, because he just was so successful on the ground, first and ten, you give it to your big back. And he was able to just mash it for like eight yards. And you have to go back and go over the top to a double cover receiver. That's the safety and corner. Sometimes yeah, he, you got to pick that he ball. He wasn't open. He wasn't open. At all. By a long shot. It was no way that he was open. The quarterback rolled that way. So stay, you, safety stayed over top. Do you think they're just telling him to throw to a spot regardless, Corey? I, I think, uh, I'm not going to say they're telling him where to throw. But with him rolling out his, you know, you football. You roll one way. Half the field is gone. So, you know, he's not going to turn and throw it back across the field. So, he only had probably one option or two. Yeah, the option, the other one, I pull that ball down and run. Yeah, that's true. That run pass option should have been in there because he threw it up and it was, it looked like an errant pass from the beginning. So, if you're just joining this broadcast, uh, Go Blood was trolling this uh, game 10 to 0, came back and scored. Had the point conversion, and now they had a pick six. Going for the point after. Oh, and it's picked by Dash. Dash picks the ball. Tries to make something out of it. So, extra point is no good after a great play by Dash. Steps in front of the play. 14-0 is your score with 18 seconds left in the second uh, quarter. We're about to go to half with an exciting game between two equally matched teams at 11 and under. Back to the action as Gold Blooded goes up. Fielder at the 45, he'll try to cut back. He's looking for a big play. Oh. But he's not going to find it today. But, and there's going to be a flag on the play. It looks like a face mask. Yeah, for he got bailed out after uh, two cutbacks too many. You know, it's, the name of the game is stick your foot in the ground and get as much as you can. But the second cutback actually assisted him in getting a few extra yards on the face mask penalty.
still brings up first down. We are eight seconds remaining in the first half. Eight seconds remaining in the first half. Got a false start on the offense. Rink. Still first down. Eight seconds, seven seconds left in the game. And in, in the first half, I do apologize. Oh, you're trying to get out of here, Corey. That's what yeah. it is. Okay, yeah. all right. Oh, no, I'm not trying to get out of here, man. I'm in for the long haul. We're going to be here all day and night. It's going to be like the club. We shutting it down. Yes, sir. They got the big back in. Our formation handoff. He is caught in the backfield by big number eight big or big. nine. What number is that? Somebody help me with goggles. Oh, if we get a spike of the ball. You got to be careful not to get a, a, a flag there as he gets a little frustrated. That was nine? That was nine or eight. It wasn't eight. Eight's too small on the picture. That's nine, man. Good no, It ain't nine either. I don't know what number he is. And now. guys, you got guys to forgive oh. Corey. I can't see with my left eye. Those
Welcome back to Second Half Action right here on Generation X U Sports Network Special Edition with the breakdown. Houston, Texas, YNC is going down 11 new matchup right here. Air out of Washington and, of course, gold-blooded out of Texas. Gold-blooded as of late, just taking the lead of the game with a pick six, 14 to 10 over Air. Air will be kicking off the gold-blooded, gold-blooded, gold-blooded in the red uniforms. Air in the goal. A swift kick to number 14. He'll follow on it safely. And that's where they will set up their offense. 45-yard line. And this is where we will see Gold Blooded try to increase their lead. Second half action, beginning of third quarter, right here on Generation X Sports Network. We thought it was going to be really hot this weekend here in Texas. But I got to tell you, very enjoyable. I mean, I want to say premium football weather. Nice breeze. Sun is out. Great breeze. If very comfortable. Good football weather. Yes. And and look, for this, this is the hot time here in Texas. Mm-hmm. August, July, August is when it, it likes to touch 100. And I think this is perfect football condition. We may be at a nice 80 degrees here today. Hand off to the left-hand side. It's oh, swallowed up. Goodness. By the big defensive tackle of air, and he shows no remorse on that one saying, hey, I'm going to swallow it up and take it back. So that's going to be a loss of five or where they stop the uh, four target. They'll be right at the 50-yard line. But both of these teams just having really aggressive play on the defensive line. I really like them fitting in the, the fit of the top 11 new teams in the country battling out. And speaking of top 11 new teams in the country, we have a special matchup coming up really pretty next as a matter of fact mm-hmm. Atlanta Elite team that's kind of broken off from uh, uh, several teams that really created a nice uh, diversity of teams and gave Rare Breeds a good run for their money a couple weeks ago in uh, in Georgia so after and the big loss let's see what, what uh, oh they go with the swing pass and that's think, gonna be incomplete. 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 Was it tipped? Yeah, I think it was tipped. Yeah, it looks like a tip ball, and and that's been a, a kind of a theme today. Everybody throwing that swing pad hasn't been too successful. No. Only was successful for Georgia Eagles at one point when they needed a couple first out on the nine and under division. Congratulations to Georgia Eagle winning earlier today. Also, congratulations uh, at the seven under. Great game between RDU and. Uh, Big boys walking away from Texas. Texas is bringing home a victory with them on uh, seven and under, Ricky. Exciting football. Ball is snapped. Swing right. pass again. Gets it into the wide receiver's hand, and he he makes the most out of it. Brings up fourth down. So it's kind of hard, like, when it when – when you're behind the the uh when you behind the sticks and you're throwing the ball sideways, it kinda to me as a coach, I don't understand the whole process. And I know what you're trying to do, get it into the They're gonna force it down your throat today, Corey. You're gonna sing swing patterns all day. Get used to it. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, Jonah, listen. First year of me actually like being involved involved with seven on seven, yeah. A swing pass wasn't part of the uh situation. Right. Nor should it have been. <laughs> <laughs> so here's fourth and long. They're going to go for it here instead of electing the punt. Both of these coaches have been electing to go for it on fourth down. Not, not a lot of punts through this game. And shout out to the Party Boys, SED7U, for their victory today against RDU. Oh, my goodness. And that's what you don't want to do. And you see this with the Gold Blooded team. These players are willing to reverse the field to try to get more yards. They're going to have to learn sooner. Hey, take what they give you. Don't go back and run at a 20-yard loss. That changes the field of position for his team tremendously right now. It was already fourth down. Yeah. You know, you just... What a great punt. Yeah. Without punting. Without... uh, So, it's already fourth down. You got to just see, hey, cut your losses. There's no reason to keep retreating backwards. Giving up all those yards hurt. And you know what that's called, Corey? That's called football awareness. Yes, so if you, you look on Madden, you get these different grades, some for speed, some for strength. And football awareness is a big part because a player who's aware of their surroundings is going to be like, listen, I'd just rather take a knee right where I'm at and don't lose more yards. Because yes. I know it's fourth down. i got to make sure I protect the field position for my football team. 
First and 10, air, quarterbacks and shotgun trips to the top of your screen, one single to the bottom. Quarterback back to pass, he'll throw a quick pass across the middle. It's completed down to the 30, and a shoestring tackle stops him from turning it up. He looked like he was going to turn on those pew pums as Corey Reed referred to him. <laughs> and, and you know, that's to me, when a, when a wide receiver, or I mean a DB is playing off, those are the perfect type of pass plays that you want to get so that they, hey, you want to play off, we're going to take what you give. Uh, one of the premier teams, SED, does this relentlessly on this age I group. think you should do a breakdown t-shirt this weekend, Corey, and it's prime. I love it. Take what they give. Take what they give you. That's it. <laughs> now, the, now, the, now the corner then rolled up in the press, and they handed it off. Oh, nifty Good move. move. Good move. As he stopped on the brakes, change of direction was instant. Oh. As he was able to... Stop at the line of scrimmage, jump to the outside. There's going to be flags that came in at the end of the play. Let's see what the call is. But an excellent move by the running back for air to move the chains. Now, that's, that's the second time actually getting caught in the backfield and getting the most out of it. But it goes against Air Academy. I didn't see what he signaled. Did you see? That's going to be a 10 yard uh, penalty. So I'm, I'm assuming that's, that's going to be holding. Yeah. yeah. And that's a shame. That was a really, really nice run. It was. It negated by a penalty. And, you know, it comes down to being disciplined. You don't want to put your... You, wait, they, what is happening here? The chains have moved down by mistake. So I'm saying where they were at. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what? So it can't be first and ten, can I'm very lost. Oh, so maybe because he gained the first down on the play. Spot foul. Spot foul. All right, got gotcha. you. So they hit him where the spot of, uh, of that foul happened at first and 10. Big back is in now. Number, is that seven? Number seven, the one that he, they was giving the ball to. Uh, Kamar. Kamar Smith. Might be wrong about that. Trust oh, in your name, Horseman like Trust in it. Corey. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, Dad. Oh, off, and off. these parents may be willing to rename their kids after they hear you broadcast it. <laughs> you know what? They may follow the flow. <laughs> so have confidence in it, man. <laughs> they may hear this once and say, you know what? I'm going to do it the way Corey put it down. So I have faith in it, brother. Young right, Jedi. I'm going Knight. with it. I'm going with it. I appreciate that. Ricky, <laughs> me and Ricky have a, uh, a lot of conversation. I always tell him about being positive. I like the way you switched that on me. Absolutely. So I'm finna say these names with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Quarterback Number back to pass. Steers a receiver down. Oh, tip. And you know that that happened because the quarterback steered him down. Yeah, he did. And so that gave it the opportunity for the defensive back to break on the ball. So whenever you're going to throw a slant pad, and they always tell you, hey, it's a three-step drop ball going. Don't yeah. try to stay. Look off the, the corner, go to the station, and come back to your wide receiver. And I know that's easier said than done than with us in the press box and nobody bearing down on you at the line of scrimmage. So three minutes and 35 seconds left in this third quarter of action. The score is 14-10, goal-blooded. The prediction of Ricky Sanchez is coming to life so far, uh, as he said this pregame. He says, yeah. I like gold-blooded in this matchup. And you know what he said it with? Confidence. 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 Head off to the left-hand side. A nice run, as they've been able to pick their spots against this gold-blooded defense with success, but not consistency, and that's the issue. We have a timeout. Official timeout there? It looks like an official timeout.
back, y'all. Coming out of a water break, mandatory here at YNC that you get uh, a water break, official oh. water break. Flags on the plane, so it looks like they get them with the hard, the hard count. You better have some mandatory water breaks over here, uh, Corey. It's August in Texas, so we know better than just have those kids just dug it out. Yes. We are yes. not trying to be on the news. <laughs> no, not even. Well, we don't want to be on the news for nothing like that. You know? Exactly. We want to make sure so that these water babies, breaks are mandatory yes. here. And I, I think that's a good addition. Like, yeah. you know, how many uh, uh, tournaments, organizations, or people just think about, hey, you know what, let me get the kids a little squirt of water and they uh, make sure everybody hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always different to say it's about the kids until you just start putting it down. Speaking about the kids, man, we're going to talk about those rings and the blings this year mm. for the YNC National Champions a little bit later in this broadcast. Head off right up the middle. He breaks some tackles. And that's what I'm telling you. The kid runs high. Reminds me of an Eric Dickerson of the Rams of all long time ago. Runs high through the hole, but keeps his legs moving. Yeah. Uh, uh, Marquise on the on the, uh, carry. And he's just shown all game so far that he's going to make big runs make people miss you have to be real sound when tackling him he's not he's not one to that one person is going to bring him down yeah first and ten and listen the gold Bug titans can get a first again they can get a first around the six yard line so they're in good position right here good uh and in striking distance and they this is probably the best field position they had this whole entire second half quarterbacks rolling out oh he made oh they call a uh, a holding call and i didn't see a holding i here. didn't uh, there was nowhere around those lines so let's be interested to see what he calls here yeah he's calling holding but it wasn't much. yeah yeah don't like that call there didn't see any hole quarterback got outside of the tackle on his own with no assistance yeah and then the, the defensive end just failed you know so yeah yeah wasn't really a holding call but, you know, it's part of the game, you know. Yeah. The refs are going to call what they call, and they can't take it back. So. Well, listen, out there it's full speed. It's bang, bang. I get it. Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes when they see a player fall instinctively as a, 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 a referee, they throw these flags. And, they, you know, not time to, not all times they could be perfect. That was a very uh, short holding call there. About five yards? They declined. Oh, they declined it. Yeah. Good job, Ricky. Ball handed off to the running back. Makes one miss and keeps turning them legs forward. And I don't know if I agree with that coaching call. I, I get his theory. He doesn't want to give them another down. But it's all about field positioning here. Yeah. You know, because they're in good striking distance. And then also they're where, where they can get a first down. Now, remember, they can get another first inside of the six-yard line. So sometimes you want to just back them up. That 10 yards really makes a big difference in them staying on schedule. But they might. Turn out and get away with this one here because it's third and 12 for Air. Air has an opportunity to pick up the first down. They don't have the size matchup outside anymore because they, they, they adjust it, but the the robber, I mean, the corner is playing off. Here's that front seven. They're showing blitz, so they're coming here on this play. Well, you're in two-play territory, two-down territory here. And that blitz gets to him. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he dialed that blitz up at the opportune time. We saw it pre-snap. That they bought seven in the box, and that's going to be end of the third quarter. We're going to the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. It's football right here. It's a chess match between Air and Goldblood.
Quarterback back to the shotgun. He scans the field. Goes to a second pro progression across the field. And his, his receiver didn't know the ball was coming to him. Now, quarterback, he looked at his third option. He actually went through his progressions, came across the middle. And he was trying to get that ball to dash across the middle of the field. But he did not see that ball coming. I like the play. I also I like the uh, play and the uh, and the execution really because if he was looking, the safety has stayed in the middle of the field. That could have been an easy pitch catch. Yeah, that was a real nice design play. With that. Is the turnover on downs. Gold blooded Titan, who is ahead now, 14 to 10, mm -hmm. has the ball back. And, you know, you can say the momentum. Yeah, fourth quarter action now. They're going to start paying attention to this clock. Quarterbacks in shotgun. Call for the ball. It looks like he was going for that wide receiver screen, but had pressure on him as they came up with their own blitz. And it is the battle of the blitzes right now, Corey. Yeah. Both defensive, defensive coordinators are going to town with blitzing. Everything at these quarterbacks because they know they are in passing, passing formations. And I guess I apologize, our camera's shaking, but the air parents are going crazy in the stand. And we're in the press box, but they're, they're kind of feeling that quarterback sack right now. If you, if you, and if you look, air showed up. You know, this wasn't a small travel for them, right. and they have parents, probably friends. It's a whole stand full of people. It's that, a community. They uh, brought yeah. a community with them. They didn't come with 10 people. No, it wasn't. No, like no. a lot of teams travel with. <laughs> no. Nah. It looks like 10 people per kid. 10 people per Well, that's what it's about, man. Really having supporters uh, making this like more of a home vibe for them. Right. Yes, but outside of that first quarter, when they went up 10 to 0, it's, it, they've shown that defensively they can they kind of can match, but... Right now, they have to they have to get off the field, get their offense back out here, and get some points on yeah, the board. Or oh, this game will be over. It's fourteen unanswered points on their behalf. As Golden Punt Titans were behind and was able to come back, and not only come back and, and take the lead. So now they have the ball in the fourth quarter. They have possession of the ball. They're looking to get this ball back. A lot of penetration to their, their exotic blitzes that they're down. Blitz once again in the quarterback face. And listen, if this, if the safety Doesn't. turns his shoulder and goes for that ball because he just tried to backpedal to it, that could have been an INT in the favor of air. But that was all caused by the pressure up front of the defensive line. It was like the floodgates was open. Yeah. You know, they just. Quarterback they, needed to get rid of the ball before he wanted to, and that messed up the timing of that, uh, that deep pass. Brings up third and long. Mo uh, most of the game, these teams have been playing behind the sticks. And, you know, you really – I know this is preseason, but that's not so a habit that you want to pick up. And that's not something you want to take into your, uh, into your regular season. Back to pass again. Throws the ball. Oh, Cordette. If it wasn't, if I wasn't looking at this right, it looks like the wide receiver. Also, the safety that, that took. Arms. Yeah, he didn't. He want saw it. somebody coming across that middle. He said, "Hold up." Yeah, this is going to be my business decision for the day. Yeah, he wasn't going to go get it, but nah. that is a safety that yeah. took it back. Pick six. So you know, we know the kid can play. We know he can catch. Yeah. You know, he just didn't. I, I, yeah, just didn't want to go and get that one. So they'll elect to walk off the punt. You can see Dash went out there. He's used to regular season where he's the punt returner. Yeah. So when he is the word punt, he runs out there and, you know, he's ready to go get one. Eight minutes, six seconds left. Air has to really go through the air or on the ground, but they need to really show that you know they want to get on this board they cannot play with this clock even though it's just a four-point game gold-blooded titan is in the position right now that the the if they come up with another stop they can run this clock right on out air's biggest success has been running behind center with their big bat yes 
and they kind of went away from it the last two drives. Oh yeah. Uh, but you know they uh, they come out with that trips. They like they they like this trips formation. And they like that big receiver to the top of the screen as well. Quarterback is a shotgun. And look how far that corner's playing back. I just go for a stop route. Oh, but they hand it off. Hand it off. Hitting the backfield. Yeah, and that's the number 11 that's been successful for them at behind the center I was speaking about. But this time shut down immediately as the defensive tackle was able to catch him in the backfield. So they'll back up three yards. You won't get anywhere without your block up front. And so that one, oh, no, no. the block was beat. And Gold Blooded is, you know, they're preserving their, their lead right now in the fourth quarter with seven minutes and 27 if, seconds. If you don't block, you can't win anything. Passing. Running, you can't win. You got to win that line of scrimmage first. That's the first battle. And then after that, you want to make people miss. Nummy, and Nummy 11 has been making a lot of people miss. Here we go once again. Trips receiver now to the bottom of the field. Quarterback slides his receivers get set. One back in the backfield. He'll stay in for... Oh, oh, and the blitz is on. Oh, my goodness. And he... You're oh. going to get a face mask in there. But... The and big that, wide receiver goes on a slant. Yeah. And if the quarterback had enough time, he would have hit him. He's oh, wide he's wide open like, in the middle of the field. This defensive coordinator is dialing up some blitzes that are hard to be. And if it wasn't for this face mask, Air would be in trouble right now. I think they're gonna get bailed out here with the face mask mm -hmm. and it may it may be the virus to get them a first yard, a first down. So let's see how they mark it off. So there's two types. There's one. That's a 15 yarder, and this one here is that that's the priority. So it will be first and 10 oh, air man. by a big penalty. Oh, that penalty. But well, hats off to the defensive coordinator as he, he knows how to get pressure on the quarterback and still have excellent coverage downfield. Six minutes, 45 seconds left, and air after that penalty is now moving in the right direction. Wins high and low, quarterback and shotgun, one set back. Quarterback scans the fans. He'll do the actual. Oh man, that that there is a head or your of play. Your favorite play has showed its <laughs> ugly head again. Well, you know, look, if it doesn't work, try try again, I guess, you know? Man. But that was a head to play by number 33. I it's hope it's a I got dangerous that play. Right. It, it hasn't been productive all day. It's a dangerous play. And these kids have been assigned the back out of the backfield. If you notice that, it's not fooling either of these defenses. When that running back goes and slides out to the outside of the field, there's a player that's keyed on them. Yeah. And the play, I think, looked like it was actually had potential, but Kamari, Fielder, actually tipped that ball and uh, changed the whole thing. And what did he just call? I don't know. Second down. Blitz is apparent and Drop they button. go they run right into him but he makes one two miss man he's an exciting player man he has a lot of he is, you can see he's just a step away of just bursting it open yeah. you know oh here comes big number seven into the game big back is in it's third and short why why not right my style of football let's why not try not? to fool anyone let's oil up number seven stretch him out Let's not make it too fancy. Hand him the ball off tackle. Let him pick up these two yards for your first down. Here we go. This is going to be a power running set. Look like we're going to run it to the left-hand side with the wing back there. They're showing their strength. And seven's in at the fullback position now, so he's going to block somebody. And he did yep. not block anyone at all. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was about to block, and he did it. But... It's a good pickup because it's fourth down. Right now, you in you in fourth down territory, regardless yeah. for the end of the game, because yeah. you well, there's no reason to punt, right? Mm -hmm. No, you you don't need to play the uh, position game. You got to get this ball into the end zone. So no gain on that play as they put the big back in as a blocking back, hand off to the tailback, tailback, and no gain on the play. Fourth and short, I formation. Blitz is coming, hand off to the big back. But we have a whistle on the play. False start. Oh, that's huge because it goes False from fourth start. and two to fourth and seven. And your clock is now down to four minutes and 37 seconds. 
Well, the eight penalty on that now, you know, that's very manageable. Corey at fourth and two gets a very interesting, gets very fourth interesting and fourth and seven. Well, you got to open up the playbook again because right there they was going to give it to uh, Kareem Smith and have him plow forward. Now you have to go and check, hey. So, Corey, run anything except the halfback. Uh, no swing, swing pass. No swing passes. I, I, executive decision. Go ahead and leave the swing pass where it is in the playbook. Don't do it right now. Back in the I formation, now they have Dash in there at the wing back. What can they snuck him in? They can call something here from there. Eh? And he rolls out. He throws and it is set. Oh it man, what a hit. play. As he came underneath the wide receiver, climbed the ladder and snatched it out the air. Receiver was wide open, but just a, a, an exceptional effort by the defensive back, Corey. Yeah, defensive back did. What every coach tell their defensive back do is to go get the ball at its highest point. Absolutely. If he doesn't leave his feet, that ball lofts over his head. Easy completion. That was a great defensive play. Great, great defensive play there. And guess what that did, though? That turned that momentum right back around. Remember I said 14 to 10. Doesn't sound like a big thing, but the pressure was on air to score, and they didn't. So three minutes, 50 seconds left in this 11U juggernaut match right here. We saw the tail of two, actually quarters, but tail of two times where both teams were in the lead and one team right now, 14-0, gold-blooded Titan. Ricky's pick. Shout out Al Black so far. Ball snap, handoff. Ball is in, and he cuts up. Woo. He cuts up. Looks like a long play, but really, about four, what's that, five yards? Right on the schedule for Gold Blooded. That's what they want to be on until five yards. Is right where they want to be and really milking the clock right now, protecting this lead. Time and, out. And you brought up, you brought up a, a, a big point. Gold Blooded likes that jet sweep action that that east to west type run try to find the creases and stuff like that so they're staying with their game plan and not shaking it they did come out what was it uh last one the, the last one trying to get the ball out and get it deep uh but i think they need to go back home continue what they're doing Milk, run that clock it's three minutes 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter 14 to 10 gold blooded titans now jonah for, for air that looked like they was coming out here to, you know, set set the precedence of how they wanted to start their up. Oh, oh wow, they're coming out ready to go. How do you think right now this team has performed to to from you from what you seen last year? Well, I really like their, their playmaking ability. I think they got some big time players at, at the skill positions, which you know can keep you in any dog fight at, at this age group. Um, there were uncharacteristics, a lot of uh, penalties called against them with self-inflicted pain, holding, false starts, that really got them into some bad areas that they weren't able to recover from. But you can see like right here on this play, they got players that's gonna make plays defensively oh, wow. and offensively, and this oh, is just wow. a great individual play by this kid from Go Biden, but they pursue to the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't give up, I like it. It's gonna be a tough team to beat as they get a little bit more cohesiveness in the season. Look for them to be one of those teams to really just press as a dark horse in the 11U uh, category or, or age division, I should say, to, to, to get some national teams some pressure, man, and uh, maybe get down there to Fort Lauderdale at the end of the year for a national championship run. There's still, in my mind, and you know, every coach should think like this, they're still in position to make this, you know, either their game or at least put some more points up on the board. Mm -hmm. It's two minutes, what, 15, five seconds. Two minutes and five seconds and counting. We have a, a discussion going on here, but the clock is running. He did not tell you, okay, he just told you to stop there. So one minute, 58 seconds left. Timeout, gold-blooded Titans.
Run right up the middle. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Clock is down at a minute 47. If they can pick up this first down, they can just run the, the clock out. I don't think uh, Air will be able to stop the clock. Well, not stop, stop it. Well, that's, that's, why they want, that's why they're getting the crowd involved now. They want a fourth down stop right here. Parents from Air making some noise. They know if they can stop them right here, they can get the ball back and potentially score and win this game in the last seconds. So, very important down for both teams. Look for a hard count here to see if they try to draw somebody off off, off uh, sides. Wishbone formation. Double A blitz. blitz. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that, yeah. oh, and the ball is on the ground. Picked and that, up. And that's what they wanted. Picked up. That's what they wanted. By air. So I was looking before snap. They had a gap in between the the, uh, the center and the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the guard. And it was wide open. He just shot right through there. Oh, yeah. I know they didn't call a timeout to, to talk that play over like that. You know, I, so now go blood Titans. Yep, comes down to this last minute and 20 Defense seconds Defense needs to stand. 101. Air Academy has been able to move the, ground, move the ball on the ground pretty consistently. The air game has not been very consistent, but that's how they're going to get in the end zone fast. And they had it all. Oh, these two boys. Big hole. And with the last seconds oh, of the game. Wow. He's at the one-yard line. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Big hole. Big hole. Oh, wow. Big number 11. 51 11. seconds. And that's the run they wanted out of number 11. And Ricky is on the line right now, his prediction. He's a little nervous. Very nervous. And he should be. He should be because they are knock, knock, knocking. Now, do you bring the in door. the big back? Here? Oh, yeah. No, you big back this one. Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. 11's been being very consistent, and we talked about having a hot hand. He has the hot hand right now. I don't see anybody else touching the ball right now but number 11. Now, remember, Air tried to do this throwing as they were on the, um, I, I, in the red zone last time as well. Big back is in there. Okay. Kareem He's at Smith the fullback. Is at fullback. They're going straight ahead. Win this game. And Gets they go the with back. Kareem. And Kareem Smith, the second, gets into the end zone. And with the go-ahead touchdown, 16-14. Wow. Air Academy. Well, it went the way Air wanted to. Within the last 50 seconds, everything happened right for them. They got the stop that they wanted on defense. Yes. Was able to just drop the center to the quarterback exchange. Yep. Then on the first play, first and 10, Strikes all the way down to the one yard line and finishes it off with their big back. Air has to be happy right now. There's 45 seconds left in this game. Can Gold Blood get back in this game with the type of offense you've seen from them all day? Are they built? It? Do they have that in their in their arsenal? Do they have that playbook that can get them wherever we see this kickoff at in the end zone in 45 seconds, for it? So I think it's going to start with the right here with this extra point. This extra point stops them, makes it a two point game. And we have a flag on the play. Yeah, so it's illegal participation. 
So this extra point is going to get a little bit more Now it's more difficult yeah. for them. Yeah. And I'm going to say this. You do not want to throw a pick six here. Correct. Right? So the last time, well, you don't want to throw a pick and then they get it back because that ties the ball game up. Yeah. Two and they get pick the ball. Two. And, pick two. There you go. <laughs> and they get the ball back. So that safety is hurting them right now. The safety in the beginning of the game hurts them. But like I, like I said, if they get a pick here, and the safety ran it back last time. They get a pick. They run it back. It will become a tie ball game. And they get the ball back with 40-something seconds. This is an untimed down right here. Trick formation. And they call right, another again. penalty. What did they call this time? They got 12 again? There is no way you get that penalty back to back. Not two of them. Wow, two of come them. on, Aaron, you know, what are you, what are you, so they're trying to get it together right now, the parents are, are, are next to us in the booth looking at each other like, like what's going on down. here? Yeah. Put it back, back to pass, throws it across the middle, oh. and it doesn't matter, they still convert regardless of the penalties. Make it look easy. Very well thrown ball by air. And they go up and increase the score. 18 to 14. With 45 seconds left in this contest. Mm. Air Academy has not scored since the first quarter. But guess when they do score? When it counts. When it counts. And, and this is what it's all about. Your back is against the wall. How can you uh, show up? Big run by number 11. I was calling for a pass the whole time. Big yeah. run by number 11. Who has been making big plays? I mean, he didn't Since break. Since he stepped on the field. Exactly. So, number 11, their, their uh, workhorse continued it. And then number 7 punched it in. Going for two, they passed the ball. Air is here. And Air is here to play. Swift kick, misfills it. Oh, wow. They'll start that drive close around the 47 yard line. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's all set up. 43 seconds left at the 47 yard line. Go block blood. It trails by four points. You'll hear the uh, air parents start getting a little rowdy here as they travel deep. And they're going to make some noise. Air has shown that they can play very sound defense and they play in the backfield with that massive defensive line there. They playing in the back for every play. Yeah. Right here is where Gold Blooded has to figure out how can we uh, negate the the pressure that's coming. And so Coach Reggie saw all he needed to see. He sees that formation, so he's going to call a timeout. He sees that trip with the three tall receivers coming to one side. Yeah, they put they they put the long boys out oh, there. Oh yeah, seventeen and number thirteen. It looks like it's two number seventeens out there. I guess my eyes are a little I shaky. I spotters left. <laughs> situation he ball is up. Nine, man big bomb he, big went, he bomb. went for it all yes he slung it yeah trying to connect with the safety that made the pitch six earlier 
But he, as you notice, he could not get behind the defenders of. Yeah, very sound. There. Very Great sound defense. defense right there. Dash, who is a brilliant defensive back, to the bottom of your screen, he'll be defending big number 17 right now. Big, tall, lanky wide receiver. That is winning a go-to guy, so it should be an interesting matchup as he plays off. And he'll go ahead and retreat a little bit back. Quarterback will roll to the right. Likes on to his right, but there's a lot of pressure now. And he's going to fake it. Oh. Makes a play and miss. Fumbles. Falls on the Ball ground. Goes out, out of bounds. bounds. So 24 seconds left as Gold-Blooded is desperately trying to get points back on this board as they trail by four points, just giving up a touchdown and point after attempt late in the fourth quarter. shaking. Defense trying to get their team, uh, Pierce trying to get their team revved up. Defending with 24 seconds left in this contest. Quarterback to the shotgun for Goldblooded. He'll take his steps back. He'll throw it up. Gets hit while he does it. Oh. Incomplete on the play. Pass across the middle. And nothing there. The the, the defense is is playing a deep cover. Yeah. You know, and cover four, cover three. Nobody's getting behind them. So they have to try to go underneath but that's not gonna win the game for you. Yeah. Uh, the time is is uh is against you. Absolutely. Third down right now. It's fourth, fourth down. down. Fourth down. Oh, yeah. oh, fourth down. Fourth and short. So they got some decisions here. They can get two yards for first, then have to really fight the clock, or just go for it all like they've been doing here on fourth down. Quarterback can step up in the pocket. I think he's just gonna run oh, for the, yeah, first and the first and try to get out of bounds. And he stays he's in bounds, gets all the way down to the 29 yard line. Tough. 16 seconds left in this contest, and the clock will start again once the ball is set. So he's trying to get the ball going. Whistle's blown, and clock starts running again. 14, 13. He's back Quarterback pass. back to pass. He'll throw across the middle. Oh. Completed. Oh. And he's still on his feet. He's still up. He's down to the 15 yard line. Clock. Six seconds. Five seconds clock left. Clock will stop until they get the chain set again once again. So it's five seconds left in this contest. Gold Blood is on the move. They're at the 15 yard line. Gotta go for three. While the snap. Quarterback up. keeps it. Face mask. Face mask. Big penalty, 15 Face yards. Face mask. Let's go stop the clock. Let's see if they run off. Let's see what happens here. Face mask, will they give them a play? Oh, they have to. You can't end the game with a defensive penalty. You cannot end the game with a defensive penalty. That was a big face mask because it actually saved him. He looked like he was off to the races. Wow. So with no time left on no the clock, time left. One 15 play yarder, left. one play left. Wow. It's all on the field right now. Here's the moment. Man. 18 what 14. An exciting game. Absolutely. This is what we do this weekend would be all about. So we it's, know. It's the YNC, man. Absolutely, baby. We're at the five yard line. Mm -hmm. Set the stage right here, Corey. No time left on the clock. None. You're at the five. Left. You trail four points. A touchdown wins it all. I will go back with that with the uh, post route just to see if uh, if it's there. So they come out in trips. Comes out trips. That's the, that's the play that Coach Reggie called a uh, timeout on before quarterback runs to oh, right. Blitz. Blitz. He throws, throws it, it up. Out. Oh, it's a it's a and penalty. It's a penalty. And but he shows catches the ball. Anyway. He catches touchdown the ball. Anyway. Oh my Amazing goodness. game. Wow. With no time left on the clock. Wow. At the five yard line. Wow. Cold blooded just pulled off a miracle play with only 50 seconds he left. He caught it with he one caught arm. It. Touchdown! Oh go blooded! Wow! This, da, 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 da. Oh man, this right here. Oh shit! I got. Wow! Wow! My predictions. And Ricky is still standing tall. He called a victory. So give Ricky his flowers, uh, Corey. Don't play with hey, him, Ricky. Don't play with him, hey, Ricky.
<laughs> Next time you do it, man, they tell me early why I can be on the same team. I'm gonna tell them that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help. I got you. Okay. Wow. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. We get ready for the next game. So, man, hey, real this one back and watch this later when we download it, guys. You won't want to miss this. That last 50 seconds was amazing. Keep it locked right here on Generation X Breakdown. It's going down. We got action all day.